One of the most important needs that children have is the need to be unconditionally loved. And what that means is that the child feels that no matter what I'm experiencing, mom or dad or my primary caregivers, they've got my back. They're there for me. And that gives the child inside a, a really deeply, a deep, deep sense of everything's okay and I'm gonna be okay. And when a child has that, that foundation that's developed from within them, which is given to them by their environment, in a, when the environment is healthy, the child has the strength to go out into our chaotic world and know that I can cope with this. I'm not going to be overwhelmed. It's not going to be too much for me because they feel strong from within. Now, where this is lacking and there is a real lack of understanding to my mind is in the way that we relate to our children when they're experiencing big emotions. So the children learn from a young age that when they're experiencing positive emotions, when they're happy, mom and dad are really happy because every parent wants to see their child happy. That's the, the greatest feeling for the parent. The parents don't want to experience their child when they're upset, when they're angry, when they're depressed, when they're overwhelmed. And in those moments, usually, the parent tries to fix the child, tries to change their experience so as not to see them suffer. Because it's painful for the parent to see their child experiencing suffering. Now, these are the key moments where there's the opportunity to give the child the strength to feel what they're feeling, to have that experience and develop this inner invincibility. And it comes with unconditional love, which means however you are, whatever emotion you're experiencing right now, I love you and I'm here. That's all the child needs. It needs the presence of the parent and to have the experience validated. And what that means is simply to reflect back to the child. Oh, sweetheart, I see you're upset right now. I understand, I'm here. The child feels validated. They feel there's nothing wrong with what they're feeling. They feel that they're loved and accepted as they are. And they have the space to learn how to process and feel their emotion in a healthy way. So usually this is not what the child experiences. Um, usually when they express I'm, I'm sad about something, the parent immediately goes into, okay, how can we change this emotion so that you feel happy? Um, why don't you do this? Oh, you should do this. Now, on a deeper level, the child is not feeling that their experience is validated. They're being communicated to, ah, oh, there's something wrong with how I'm feeling. Mom and dad don't like how I'm feeling. I have to find a way to feel differently. Now, what can I do? And that's where we start to move our attention externally, trying to think, to figure it out. How do I have to behave? What is it mom and dad want from me? What do I have to do? They're, they're freaking out right now because... I'm having this experience and that's where it all begins so as parents if we can recognize the moments when our child is experiencing what we would call negative emotion and in that moment come to the breath and just follow our own breath and drop into the body and just be then already the child has space to feel what they're feeling. 
and then two. So first, follow the breath and drop into the body. Second, validate the child's experience. Oh, sweetheart, I see you're upset. Third, let them know I'm here. I'm here, it's okay what you're feeling, I'm here. And fourth, the most difficult part for most parents, keep quiet. <laughs> just let them feel it and just be there with them, fully present, allowing them to experience the big energy in their body. They might start crying and screaming or shaking their arms. The, the intelligence of their system knows how to process this energy and this emotion. And when we interfere and we tell them you shouldn't be feeling that way, you need to stop this, the child is forced to disconnect from their inner experience and to shove down this energy and this emotion and it becomes repressed in their body, causing problems later in life. So if we just be present and we give them this healthy space of unconditional love to feel whatever they're feeling, the system processes it, the energy releases and the storm passes.